All right, so now we're gonna get started with the basics of Google Docs. So honestly, I want you guys, if you've ever used Google Docs before, just skip ahead out of this basic section and move on to the next part where I get into data manipulation, formulas and functions, and all of that. This is for the very, very beginners who have never used Google Docs. Um, you know, and I, I honestly want you guys to skip this if you haven't, if you've used Google Docs or Google Spreadsheets in any way before, uh, just because we're going to cover very basic stuff: starting a new document, navigating a spreadsheet, renaming documents and sheets, how to use sharing, and creating new sheets. So, all of this information, if you've used Google Spreadsheets before, you will know. And I don't want you guys to be bored or leave me a bad review uh, if I cover if I bore you or you know cover things that you already know. So that being said, let's dive into it. So the first thing, so this here is data that I've imported. Uh, it's the Olympic data from since 2000. So the last 14 years of Olympic data. So medal count, athletes, countries, years, closing ceremony date, sport, medal count, all that. So what I want to show you quickly is how you create a new spreadsheet. So if you wanted to create an entirely new Google spreadsheet, you could go to your Google Drive, which is where we are right now, hit the plus button down here. And there you go. We have a new spreadsheet. It is that easy. To rename a spreadsheet, you simply just click on the italicized thing, say test spreadsheet. Now you can see our document, our spreadsheet is called test spreadsheet. To rename the actual sheet itself and not the entire workbook, you can hit rename test. Click off and now the sheet is renamed. You can also change the color that underlines each of these different tabs. Um, you can do other things like protect a sheet, which means that you can see someone needs to, here, so sheet, we'll say set permissions. So we can set it and say, only people, only I can get access to this, this page. So done, woo. So now you can see a little lock icon. The sheet that we're working with right now is protected. So if we were to send this to someone else, then they couldn't make any changes to this very sheet. Now, if we created another sheet, as you can see, sheet two, we'll rename this te test two. And if I was to send this to someone else, they couldn't make changes on test, but they could make changes on test two because there's no little lock icon. So now we've covered renaming. Uh, speaking of sharing, here's how you share a document with someone. So in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little thing called share. And so you can share this link via Gmail, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. But Or you can invite people by email down here. So if I want to invite my friend Evan, I can do that. Now, that being said, you can add like nice little messages here and whatnot. So that being said, in order for someone to actually be able to see the spreadsheet, to access it, to make changes, you need to sh change how many, how people can see this. So it by default, only you can access the spreadsheet. Now, if we want to change that, let's say we want to share this with a friend or a colleague, we can say anyone who has the link can access it. So anyone who gets the link through any way can access it. Public on the web means anyone on the internet can find it. Now down here is where we'll edit, you know, anyone with the link can view it. Anyone with the link can comment, so leave comments on cells and sheets and whatnot, or can edit. So if you want to share only with specific people, that automatically gives them editing permission. So let's say I want to share this with myself, and I can change my permissions to make it so that I can view it, I can comment, or I can edit. Boom. So let's say that happens, and then or if I wanted to send this out to my team, rather than typing everyone in, it might just be easier to say anyone with the link can edit, save, done. Sorry, now you have to copy this, uncheck this, and what? Ah, because I changed this. Okay. 
Yep, yep. And we'll invite myself. Boom. And now anyone who has the link can edit. So if I'm opening a new incognito window and I copy the link that I just, the link to the workbook, I can see this and I can make edits since we set that up in our permissions. So let's see this. Hi, Justin one. You see it's saving up here, it's saved here, and there we go. So that is how you do sharing, that's how you set it up. Now if you wanted to download this and save this, you could make a copy. So if someone had shared this with you, you know, and you opened it, you could make a copy so that you'd have your own copy of this spreadsheet in your Google Tools, or in your Google Drive. You could trash it, you could see the revision history. So like, let's see what happened here, ah, today, at 344 anonymous typed in hi justin one which is a real this is a really cool feature of uh, google spreadsheets as you can imagine is revision history we'll get more into that later you can also do things like download this as you can save it as an excel workbook as a pdf as a csv whatever you want so that is how you navigate a spreadsheet how you share and how you create new sheets new docs and the like next we'll hop into formatting so hang tight Thanks for getting through this one.